you know, my, my siblings and I, we're, we end up being raised by these two high school dropouts. I want you to tell us the story about you. Talk to us about Paul Hastings. I know you were homeschooled growing up. You homeschool your kids. Um, just talk to us about your ministry and what God has done in your life. Yeah, great question. You know, uh, so actually, it's so interesting. Being a podcaster today is actually tightly connected to being homeschooled, actually. So this crazy story. <laughs> so uh, it was something like 30 years ago. My mother immigrated to the United States when she was 17, and she came from Thailand. Uh, she came to the U.S., didn't speak a word of English at all. And so when she arrived, I think she was uh, she was probably supposed to be in 11th grade, but she was a bad student in Thailand, came to the U.S., right? And so she enrolls <laughs> in a high school here. And was a terrible student here as well, partly because like, you know, she was just bad at, you know, a bad student, but also she couldn't understand the language either. And, uh, you know, she couldn't understand anything that people were saying. And so eventually she dropped out of high school uh, and just enrolled at her local community college. Then you fast forward a few years later and my dad, uh, he met my mom. And the funny story about my dad is he too dropped out of high school uh, and so he only had his GED. And so these two folks meet each other. They both have their GEDs. They're both high school dropouts. Uh, and at this point in time, my mom had become a Christian and they get married. And my dad had heard about homeschooling back in the 80s. And uh, it, it wasn't legal in Texas at the time, uh, but there neither was there a lot of like talk about it either. It was just kind of a non-factor. And before he had ever gotten married, he had thought like, wow, this homeschooling idea, this sounds really cool. Maybe, maybe we should try that out someday. So he gets married. And, uh, you know, my, my siblings and I, we end up being raised by these two high school dropouts. And, you know, normally we'd kind of put together the, oh, that's a recipe for disaster, right? Like, you know, they're totally unqualified. Like who, you know, what are these yeah. people thinking? Uh, but in the end, it was actually, it was really successful for us as an entire family. Uh, my brother ended up getting his PhD at Berkeley University in sociology. Today, he's a professor of sociology at Colorado State University. Um, mm -hmm. my sister, she ended up getting her associate's degree in computer science before, I think like five months after she graduated from homeschooling. Uh, and then I was homeschooled also. Uh, and I ended up taking the long route. I took, I took, uh, eight years to cram a four year degree program. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know that takes a special skill, but, but yeah, so I, I too got my degree as well. So, you know, again, all three of us homeschooled K through 12 all the way, never spent any time in a classroom, a regular classroom. Uh, but we yeah. really thrived with homeschooling, even though our parents were, you know, on paper, unqualified to teach us. It was yeah. a really excellent thing. So that's a beautiful story. I love, love, love that encouragement because so many of us think, well, you know, I, I mean, I'm one of those who just thought, man, I'm not qualified to teach my kids. Are you kidding me? I hated school. I was a horrible student too in high school. Yeah. And, uh, you know, here I am <laughs> homeschooling in year 12 and, um, yeah. you know, doing a whole podcast about homeschooling, made a movie about it. And it's not because I am so good at homeschooling. It's because God has chosen to use me to uh, speak life and to impact yeah. my kids' lives through homeschooling and family discipleship. And I'm so grateful for that. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 